what is up everyone this is dr mandrick with another lost art video today i'll be showing you guys my rate bill updated for 2022 for any release since that i got recently reworked and some of the skills he no longer uses snipers at all it's pretty much a melee class so in this video i'm going to be showing you everything i'm going to be showing you the skill points uh the runes that you're going to be using engraving stats everything if you're new to the channel or if you have not done already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. And let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the skills. Uh, the skills that I've been using for my rate bills. Uh, I'm going to show you my 270 points. That's what you guys should be having at the uh, right now. Like It's a little bit above average, uh, 270 right now. But uh, eventually you will get more points once you reach that uh level 60 cap of course i'm gonna give you also the tips of what skills should you should go ahead and level up once you reach that cap let's go ahead and start i take spiral tracker but i do not use any points anymore because the cooldown is a little bit too long for my taste so i don't use spiral tracker uh however i do take grenade with the weakness exposure to get that 10 percent buff on the crit and uh, i take enforce execution i do not level up the skill right now with the points that i have but eventually i will add uh two tripods to this skill once i have enough points i will add like light, uh, light footwork and tenacity right but uh, as of now i don't have the skill points so i don't take it uh summer salt shot is another skill that i use also for mobility and eventually i will level up the skill once i have enough points with the ignore collision or agile movement to make it faster uh, right now i do take equilibrium with the weakness exposure so you can add that crit buff uh 12 seconds or 10 percent crit buff for your whole party i also take dextrous shot eventually i will uh uh get points on this skill as well but as of now i don't take any points on the uh, on dextrous shot i will add uh, in the future uh agile movement and excellent mobility uh as of now this is one of the skills that got reworked the dual pistols got buffed so now instead of the snipers you take quick shot and you max this out you take swift fingers for the attack speed gradual devastation and final light this is a pretty good skill to use now you all oh, oh, uh, it also has back attack, so you can use back attack with this skill as well. It is pretty strong right now, so you want to take this skill and max it out right away. Cruel Tracker is another skill that is being maxed out right now. You take uh, Swift Fingers, Rapid Fire Enhancement, and Explosive Bullet as a tripod. is also a very good skill. It also has back attack. So everything is pretty much back attack on the dead eye right now. It's pretty much a melee class that has to position himself perfectly behind every raid boss to do maximum damage. So you have to take that under consideration. Uh, when it comes to the shotgun skills, I take sign of apocalypse with close shot, enhanced shot, and approach apocalypse that will add more damage to bosses that are immune to CC and pretty much everything like that. I take shotgun rapid fire with close shot, enhancement shot, and special bullet. Shotgun dominator, same thing. Close shot, weak point detection, and the ruler. It will decrease your attack range, so you have to make sure you really like up close on his back to do maximum damage. Uh, last request. Uh, before, I used to max this out. But uh, as of now, I'm not maxing the skill uh, right now because uh, the buff on the dual pistols. So I only take two tripods, which are quick prep for the cooldown reduction, execution that will add the attack speed and the dash. So it will make it easier for you to do some counter attacks sometimes, and it will add more damage when the boss is staggered. Uh, like, uh, like I mentioned before, you do not use sniper skills at all. Like what you do now is that you do your pistols rotations and then you do you do your shotguns rotations, right? You start with the dual pistols. Start with the dual pistols, you do your, your crit buff and then you start doing your shotgun rotations and then you go back to the dual pistols and you use everything. By the time you go back to 
your shotguns, you will have the cooldown there for the shotguns. So, uh, as a for the awakening, I used to take number one, but uh, awakening number two does more damage. So you better do that four hour quest line for you to get this awakening pretty fast uh, early in the game. As soon as you uh, finish with row handle, you can do that 44 hour quest to get that awakening. And uh, you have to just make sure that you land the three hits, right? This will do more damage, but only if you land all hits. So you have to keep that in mind. Better use when they're stagger or when they like whiff a jump or something that you know for sure that they're gonna uh, stay there for a minute and take the three shots. Uh, when it comes to the runes, what I have right now, I have a bleeding effect on my grenade since it has a short cooldown and you'll be spamming that uh, grenade quite a lot. It will add a lot more DPS since you have that bleed effect. Uh, when it comes to the shotguns, I will add uh, skill casting speed. It will make the skills a lot faster since they're pretty much like slow. They have a, a slow casting speed. So you want to take uh, skill casting speed for this too. Sign of Apocalypse and shotgun rapid fire. Eventually, I will, of course, upgrade my runes from uh, uh, green to blue, from blue to purple, and then legendary, of course, but always skills casting speed for those. Uh, I add uh, stagger damage to catastrophe since that is uh, one of the skills that you use for your stagger rotation. Whatever the boss has like a mechanic that you have to do stagger, that's uh, how you start. You start with catastrophe, then you just this, and that that is your rotation and you finish with a shotgun dominator of course that is your stagger rotation right now so i did add that room there to make sure i have a little bit more stagger uh let me see let me show you guys the engravings the engravings real quick okay the engravings this is like the holy grail of engravings for the dead eye right here this is like this is gonna be like end game tier three that's what you're gonna reach to, uh, that's what you're gonna be able to have enough points enough uh engraving points to be able to get something like this right but as of now uh, i will uh encourage you guys to focus on having your of course your uh class engraving at least level one that is enhanced weapon and uh, master of ambush and grudge you can start with those three eventually then you will get like adrenaline level three which is really good especially for the gunner class since it will add you stacks every time I do a movement uh, skill it will add stacks here I got three I got four now let me see I got five and that eye is always moving around the whole map trying to position himself six as soon as I hit six I get the crit buff I get 50% more crit chance right so it's a pretty good synergy that you have with adrenaline enhanced weapon and keen blunt that will add more crit damage but um uh you can start with those enhanced weapon grudge and master of ambush since uh most of its dps comes from the shotguns and they're all back attack you do need this engraving this is a must have of course all right so when it comes to the stats uh i this is my alt i have i'm using uh, gunslinger as a main right now and uh, this is my alt. I don't have the stats optimized for everything. You know what I mean? Because it's my alt. But uh, you want to get uh, crit and spe spe specialization. You want to get more of the spec than crit. Since, like, you will have enhanced weapon. And eventually you will get adrenaline. Uh, those engravings will compensate the missing crit that you have. The missing crit damage. You also have like skills that will increase your crit chance, right? Like 10% with a grenade and stuff like that. So having more spec, it will add a lot more damage to your shotgun skills and crit damage to your dual pistols, right? So that's what you want to do as a dead eye as of now, 2022 updated rate bill. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this as for the gunslinger or anything like that, I know some people have been asking me about uh, what is the difference between the gunslinger and dead eye if you want to see something like that let me know and remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done that already and i'll see you guys on the next video take care everyone